We are genuinely excited to be launching our global flagship event, the Prince of Wales's Business and Sustainability Programme for Asia-based senior leaders this coming October in Singapore. Since 1994, this event has become the global benchmark for sustainability leadership education. And we deliver this immersive three-day residential event five times a year now, including in Cambridge, Melbourne and Berkeley. So in this video, I will be sharing some insider insights to the programme design to give you a sense of what the delegates might expect from taking part in this incredibly special event. So the programme is fundamentally about supporting senior leaders in not just navigating the inevitable disruptive changes we face globally, but actually proactively getting ahead to shape the context within which they want to thrive as leaders in the future. In designing the programme, there are three key ingredients to ensure the learning journey is as compelling, as relevant and constructively challenged, but ultimately as impactful as possible. The first of these is that we enter into the mindset of systems, thinkers, exploring not just what the world looks like as a snapshot in 2022, in terms of your social, environmental and economic trends, but the interconnected nature, the systemic nature of these global challenges, and importantly, the pace and scale at which our world is changing. We then take a closer look at the unique challenges faced regionally and the types of headwinds Asia is facing into specifically as a result of these trends, such as an increasingly volatile climate, the consequences of living out of step with nature, and providing healthy, prosperous livelihoods in the most densely populated region on Earth in an equitable way. Secondly, we distill down these global trends and challenges to the regional and then look at how this is materialising as risks and opportunities in different sectors and for specific businesses. So we'll explore things like the race to net zero and net negative in a way that is nature positive. We'll look at protecting and restoring nature, those underpinning natural assets upon which businesses depend. We'll look at achieving more with less in relation to resource efficiency and improved circular and sharing economies. And ultimately, we'll think through the world in 2050 and what that will look like for the 9 billion people who will live there, particularly in terms of equitable development and our urban environments. We work closely with delegates to identify what will their contribution be to that world. What will they need to dial up in terms of new activities and innovations? And what do they really need to start dialing back to ensure longevity and success in the long term? This leads to a really interesting conversation about what true transformational change looks like. And that goes to the core of business strategy and it starts with purpose. What are you for? So we don't help organisations get really good at being slightly less bad. We're about transformational, not incremental change and supporting leaders to navigate that challenge. Finally, so we've moved from the global, the local to specific sectors and businesses, and we land on the individual leader and the leadership required to keep pace with the changes external to the organisation, to pave the way to the future that we all want to see. We aim to really inspire our delegates at this point to raise their level of ambition and be part of this change at the speed that keeps pace with our context around us because learning is such a privilege it really is a privilege it's denied to many people uh, but it's what you do with that knowledge that counts and we want delegates to leave feeling accountable yet really empowered to act by the end of the program so that's a lot on the content. I will now share a little bit about the learning experience. One of the most important things about this programme is peer learning. So each delegation is made up of 40 uh, carefully selected senior leaders and we curate a safe space in which they can share their dilemmas, uh, experiences, and they can often question long held assumptions together and of course pick up new ideas. And they can go on to nurture these ideas via uh, a membership of our global network of over 25,000 alumni, which they join after participating in the programme. So we don't do this programme alone. We bring in expert contributors and faculty members to share their insights. Many are uh, from a kind of scientific and academic backgrounds, but we also draw a lot from the business and finance community to share their thoughts, not to say what the blueprint for success looks like, 
just to say what's worked for them at a moment in time or not worked, but effectively there's something that we can learn from them moving forwards. The programme is incredibly participatory. Uh, so every day we facilitate smaller breakout groups, we challenge each other via debates, um, and we ensure adequate time for discussion with our expert speakers. So the, the stand and transmit model uh, is not what we do. It's so important that delegates bring themselves and their context forward and are willing to engage. So if you are, or if you know a senior leader uh, looking to embrace the complexity of our rapidly changing world, delve deeper into the transformation required and become re-energized with that sense of commitment to lead businesses fit for the 21st century, then it would be my great pleasure to see you there.